you have lost very, very few times in your career. Uh, one, I mean, this is the same is true for George. And uh, the only person who has ever submitted you is Felipe Pena. At Black Belt, yeah. At Black Belt. He is ADCC world champion, multiple time IBJJF, Gi and Nogi world champion. You may face him ADCC or elsewhere in the future. Um, will you beat him? Uh, yes. I mean, I have to say yes, right? Um, but uh, I fought him initially when I first got my black belt. Um, then I fought him a year later, so 2016 and 2017. Um, and despite what people remember about the match, and whenever people talk about it, it's like, oh yeah, the guy who strangled Gordon. But no one remembers that the first match was like a 45 minute war. Um, and then the second match with the full 20 minutes of ADCC. And if I didn't get my back taken in like the last minute and a half, two minutes, it would have went into an overtime. Um, that could have changed the outcome of the match. Um, I think that if you look at Felipe's performances, especially Nogi, specifically Nogi, since then, it looks like he's almost gotten worse. Whereas since that match uh, in 2017, uh, the only match I lost after that was against Vinny uh, Magalesh by by points. And uh, I'm on like a 55 match win streak um, over the course of four years, um, winning all the major tournaments, Nogi. And uh, Felipe, since that match, I think is like five and two uh, Nogi. Um, and he's lost his last two match matches. One was convincingly where he was dominated by Andre and one was by submission. Um, so I don't think that he's progressed nearly as fast. If anything, he looks like he's worse than he was when he beat me in 2017 based on his previous performances. Um, that being said, I know he's gonna come in training very hard for this one and he's, he's gonna be prepared, but I just don't think that in terms of technical ability, he's anywhere near my level. And um, he was much bigger than me both times we fought. Um, the first time, he was much bigger than me the second time he was one weight class above me um so now there's not going to be an advantage in technicality and there's also not going to be a physicality advantage so i think he's just going to be beat everywhere <laughs> this is uh this is a good example of the scientific response to a um to a comment to a, to a question yeah so he's not um that that's a match you're you're not deeply concerned with in no. terms of the set of opponents, because you, you 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 have and you will be facing a lot of really difficult, yeah. difficult. Opponents. That's actually, in my opinion, one of the easier matches because of the fact that we're relatively the same size. Um, if I show up at two hundred and thirty pounds, like a lot of the guys are, two sixty, two seventy plus, so that extra weight does make a difference. I think out of that entire bracket, um, Felipe is probably going to be the one of the easiest matches because of the fact that I can easily take him down. And if I take him down, I'm going to pass his guard. Whereas I feel like the other guys, because they're so much bigger and they're very cagey, um, it may take me a while to actually take them to the ground um, and get on top of them. And I think it may be, they may be longer drawn out matches because of the fact that they're so much bigger and stally, it's hard to take them down. But Felipe is relatively my size and uh, his wrestling is atrocious. So, and I've already taken him down in the last ADCC match. So I'm pretty sure I can just easily put him down, pass him, and then finish him. Well, I'm not sure what response I was expecting, but uh, <laughs> that was that was that was phrased beautifully. 